Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, earlier I had alluded to a big announcement, and this is what I'm going to do. I run into the person, she's actually a good friend of mine, who manages this publication here in my town, and was pretty excited because we started talking about it being Saturday and the things we were doing, and I told her I was going to the big W, and she was like, oh, what is that? And I said, it's Walmart, you know, the big W, because we just don't have much to do. And well, I mean, there's lots of things to do here, but as far as shopping goes, if you are a crafter, there's hardly anything here, although Walmart isn't bad. So I did show you my big haul, but anyhow, I was in talking to her, I said, yes, I had gone to Walmart and flopped down quite a little bit of money on my new hobby and she says really what's that and I said junk journaling well her face lit up and she says oh my gosh I love that and I'm going to be doing a feature in this publication in November called buy locally and so if you have some journals that you could possibly um, sell that would be great you know she said, send me your information, so I'll, I'll uh, email her um, probably the beginning of the week with my information. So, I got to get on the ball, guys. I got to get some stuff done, like, done. So, kind of nice. That was my big announcement. Kind of nice. It's a good incentive, you know, because I'm hoping that I can profit from this, you know, that at least some sort of a secondary income. We'll see. All right, so getting started here on the kitchen dresser. This is as much as I've gotten done on the top. And I'm pretty sure that I had cut a shelf for it, although I have no clue where it went. And I did decide, we can just cut this. I did decide that <clears throat> I was okay with them being a little shorter and that I'm going to rob Peter to pay Paul on building this and then I'll, I'll um, the word will come to me, I will revamp the Cricut, the uh, pattern for it, I will get it up to speed. So I think in measuring this eyeballing it exactly that's where I need to cut it because this is going to be my first shelf and it will set back a little bit which is not a problem for me so now because I know how I am I had better straight edge this because if not it looks good if not I'll cut it very crooked It'll go this way or that way. In fact, it does look a little crooked, but we'll find out. We will find out. So this will go in here. Yeah, it's a little too big right now. I want it tight, but I don't want it bowing tight. So let me shave a little off. So, yeah, that was an exciting day. Um... My daughter and I did some shopping. We did some junk sale shopping. and um, It's kind of, you know what, guys? This fit perfectly. I mean, right to the edge. Perfect. So there's the shelves. And I'm only going to be doing <coughs> the, um, the two shelves in here. And then the two shelves in the bottom. So... Let's get that glued in there and move move on. Onward, upward. So, any exciting news for you guys? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And <clears throat> then I was going to go buy, let me get this, I was going to buy Mod Podge until I saw the price of it. And I mean, I don't mind 
spending a little bit of money on my hobbies. I, I don't. Um, some of the paper I buy is a little on the pricey side, but and I will show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So I looked it up online and I can actually make my own Mod Podge. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, wouldn't you know it? I, 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 well, it's not a total loss. I can do this. So anyhow, yeah, I'm going to make my own Mod Podge. I'm not, I refuse to pay. I, I, I just, sometimes I don't understand how people price stuff. So, I mean, I just don't. It's glue for God's sakes, you know, it's not gold. So, I politely and professionally put that back on the shelf and said, mm -mm, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so this, I just want to make sure it's level. Or as level as my eyes ooh, will go. So yeah, it's like a certain, I won't mention their name, but a certain coffee shop comes to mind where the prices are just like, seriously, who has that kind of money? You know, I mean, I know people do, but why? Okay, that looks pretty level to me. So that's the upper shelves. And I thought long and hard, do I want to put doors on it? Yes, I do. But then I thought long and harder, do I myself want to put <laughs> the doors on it? So um, I might. I'm still playing with that, but I just want to get us to a point where we can actually call it a dresser. So let's see. Now we got to find a top for this one. And that was almost it, but I'm going to go with this one because it sticks out far enough in the front if I go all the way to the back. And I'm thinking that's probably just about perfect. Yeah, that's going to work. So what i got to do is measure where I want it to go. And again, eyeballing this, I'm going to say to about right there on both sides. Well, maybe it is. No, that's about right. Yeah, I cannot fathom. I mean, I'm depending on what it is you're paying for. You know, sometimes. It's worth the cost. And sometimes you just say to yourself, I, I just, I don't get it. Why would you want to pay that much money for something you're going to eat and drink and it's going to be gone, you know? Okay, I'm going to have to do this a little different. So I, I don't buy coffee that's, well, I'm going to take that back once I did. Here in my city, go to a coffee shop, and it was earlier um, in the spring season, beginning of the spring season, when we were still getting, amazingly enough, still getting snow and cold days. So I said, you know what, I want um, a spiced chai tea. And... I wasn't feeling good that day. And I had just gotten my second, yeah, I want to say my second COVID shot. And I said, well, I'm going to treat myself to a good cup of coffee or a good hot tea. So I went to get the hot tea and I ordered a large, no, a medium. Not even thinking. And it turns, and the lady says, Four dollars and fifty cents, please. And I choked. I was like, "What? Four dollars and fifty cents?" And would you like your um, 
Would you like a punch card? So when you fill up the punch card, you get one for free. And like a dummy, I said, sure. And then later on, I said, there's no way. There is no way on this planet I'm ever going to fill that punch card because, guys, I just can't see ever spending that much money. Okay, so I'm going to do this from the bottom. We got a bit of a gap there to fill. Just fine. I'll just use a little putty. I want to make sure. Yeah, I'm level. Yeah, I was like, it just absolutely blew my little pea brain there for a minute. So I bought the coffee. I mean, I wasn't going to hand it back to her I was, or the tea. I wasn't going to, wasn't going to be rude. So I paid for it. And I thought to myself, when I go through town in the morning to go to work, I see cars lined up there. To buy coffee or tea or whatever. And I'm thinking, do they realize how expensive that is? And if you just go to a gas station, you get the same. If you're buying a regular coffee. If, I mean, if you're buying um, a fancy coffee, of course it's different. But you're getting the same thing, guys. The same thing. And you're paying such an inflated price. I was like, wow. This is going to be a rare treat, you know. But anyhow, off my soapbox and on to gluing. I, I just I was just blown away. Okay, so we'll get this glued on. And then hopefully I can paint it. Maybe I can paint it in... Sorry about my daughter in the background. She's talking to her dad. and I don't think she... I think I told him I was videoing, but I don't think she realizes how much her voice carries. Okay, so I couldn't figure out. Maybe that was the plug right there. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so moving on. I just... I don't know, maybe I'm chintzy, maybe I'm selfish, maybe I'm like a tightwad or whatever you want to call me, but I do know this. I like keeping a little bit of money in my pocket. Sorry about my hair, guys. I was right there, but I had to make sure that I'm level in the back. Not level, but even even on my corners. Okay, there's that one and that one. Anyhow, so like I said, I just, there's just, now, when I go to a baseball game, I'm there to enjoy myself, and I'm going to spend some money. And I'm not going to quibble. I mean, I know they're ex extremely expensive, their drinks and their food, and, but, at the baseball stadium we go to, when there's all these things going on, there's fireworks, there's contests, there's just a lot of stuff going on that makes it worthwhile. Okay, so there's the bottom, guys. I'm starting to get excited. Not the bottom, but the top, I mean. The back and the top. So this guy's going to sit right, oh, timber, right there. But look at this. Now, isn't that cute? I just love it. And I don't think it's going to be too big. Although I'm going to check it. I think it's going to work. So let me see. It's a large piece of furniture for that little kitchen. But you know what? I like it. Um, I'll show it to you guys once it's finished, or maybe I, ah, maybe I can get you over here. Let me pause the camera and move it, and I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's pretty big. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I know that's not 
level. But you see that's kind of big for that kitchen. But for a regular sized dollhouse, I don't think it's going to be that big. So I'm going to finish it. And if we put it, sorry about the reach. If we put it on that wall, it might not be so big. Because the only other thing that's going over there is the refrigerator, sink, and stove. And so I might wind up doing, I don't know, it is pretty big, don't you think? But let me, you know, for a regular size house, hold on. Okay, this is my farmhouse. And this is the living room, but because the kitchen over there is really dark. But anyhow, so see, in a farmhouse, I mean, if you put this piece of furniture next to it, it's really pretty much okay for the size. So I think it'll go into this particular dollhouse. Hello, kitty. Okay, kitty. Um, so you know what I think I'll do, though, is take that piece that I just showed you and put it in the kitchen. Let's go see how that looks. Now, I actually like that. Let's see if we can get a little more light in there. I actually like that. And even if we move it to the side, you see, it's still okay. But that would mean I'm going to have to do some paint matching to this, which is not going to be that hard. I could also repaint this. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because that'll hold all the dishes and pots and pans and enough room up oops, sorry, enough room up there to put a a plant or some knickknacks. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I believe so. I can have one prefab piece of furniture in the kitchen, right? Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, guys, what I'm also gonna do is get this video uploaded. And move on to something else. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. Let's let's help me to achieve my goals here. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video.